Hi there, welcome to a quick video tutorial on analyzing the impact of changing the A value in a quadratic equation. What I wanna do in this video is just show you using this Desmos workbook, what happens when we adjust the A value, which is the coefficient in front of an X squared term in a quadratic equation. So what I've done here is I've just graphed the equation Y equals X squared. As we know, that's a very basic parabola passing through zero, zero. If I sub in one, I get one. If I sub in two, I get four and so on. And what I have here is another parabola, y equals a times x squared. And I'm going to adjust the value of a using the slider and see what happens for different a values. So to get started, you can see if I grab the slider, right now the a value is 1. That's the base parabola, y equals x squared. If I change the value of a to 2, for example, or 3 or 4, you can see that this parabola is becoming thinner. And in math, we refer to this as a vertical stretch. It's almost as if the base parabola is being grabbed onto and pulled vertically so that it becomes more thin. And as it turns out, the base parabola is vertically stretched by a factor of whatever the A value is. So if the A value is two, what this means is that I'm taking each of the Y values on the base parabola and multiplying them by two. So if a point on the base parabola was one, one, for example, multiplying the Y value by two, if the a value is 2, will result in a new point of 1, 2. So you can see that point has been stretched vertically by a factor of 2. And you can do that for any point on that base parabola. If I change the a value to 3, the y value of that point is now being multiplied by 3, which would place it up here at 3. So when the a value is greater than 1, we say that there's a vertical stretch by a factor of that a value. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just turn off that parabola, and I'm going to compare the base parabola to a different parabola which has an a value that is a fraction or is between zero and one. So right now, if I'm looking at the base parabola and if I change the a value to two, what I have now is one over two as the a value, right? If I change it to three, I've got one over three as the a value and so on and so on. What you'll see is that the base parabola is what we call vertically compressed by a factor of that a value. So on the base parabola where I had one, one, I'm now dividing that y value of one by two to get a new y value of 0.5 or 1 half. So we say that that's a vertical compression by a factor of two, because we're dividing all of the y values by two. You could also think of it as you're multiplying the y values by a half, which in the end has the same impact as if you were dividing them by two. So far we've looked at vertical stretches and we've also looked at vertical compressions, but what happens if I make the a value negative? Let's say I take the a value and I change it so that it's less than zero. You can see that the base parabola reflects over the x-axis. So instead of opening upward, that parabola now opens downward. And we call this a vertical reflection or a reflection over the x-axis. And of course I can combine these transformations so that I can have a reflection over the x-axis, but I could also have a stretch by a factor of two. So you can see that this parabola is thinner, it's vertically stretched by a factor of two, in addition to the reflection over the x-axis. So in summary, Making changes to the A value of a quadratic equation has the ability to stretch or compress the parabola vertically, as well as the ability to reflect the parabola over the x-axis. If the A value is greater than one, we see a vertical stretch by a factor of that A value. If the coefficient in front of x squared is in between zero and one, we say that there's a vertical compression by a factor of whatever the denominator is. And lastly, if the A value is negative, we say that there's a reflection over the x-axis. So that's a brief summary of the impact of changing the A value of a quadratic equation. Hope this helps and thanks for watching.